Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing a vlog on the latest upcoming travel destinations in the UK 2021 part 4 so let's jump right into it now this is according to www.countryliving.com so let's fire away with these three amazing places and number one is the Peak District um, with the Peak District I've gone on lots of days out um, as a child um, with mum and dad um, and my brother Kevin and um, I've also been on holiday um, with the school St Clair's and uh, this other club that I used to go to and um, we went on a youth holiday and um, I really enjoyed it um, it's a beautiful place um, and um, again there's lots to see and do around there so the Peak District uh, we can't think of a better place for isolation inspired break than the Peak District where you can make the most of the great open out uh, door spaces and soak up the views of England's wild beauty there's antique shops shopping Chatsworth House and Chesterfield Flea Market being two of the top places you will want to visit and there's other great places like um, the visitor centre at Bakewell where they do Bakewell tarts also and um, also at uh, the caves and uh, visitors uh, like visitors centre museum at Castleton and um, the village of Eam which is the Black Death village is a brilliant place to visit also you've got um, bowls over castle um not far away um and um also um lots of other towns such as boxton with its uh, caves and also um you've got ashbourne and i am um, a nice place to visit as well um again especially if you're from the midlands uh, wanting to go for a day trip then again it's well worth visiting so yes there's some absolutely fabulous places um around the peak district and it's one of those places where you can space out as well which is also a good bonus next um i've both been to east and west sussex and um, again they're both amazing places to travel to downton abbey fans this one's for you let sussex east and west um be the next t tv location you will want to visit and um, it will be a delight the bluebell railway um is running for 11 miles from sheffield park to east grinstead and stopping at also the 1930s themed harstead keys or harstead keens station which features downton abbey um also our Dal Castle is well worth a visit and um, it says that pretty chick Chester Harbour's uh, nice to visit and the Grand 
Petworth House. Um, again, um, both, in my opinion, equally East and West Sussex has got some brilliant areas to go and visit. And um, there's the South Downs, um, which um, has got a variety of places and things to see and do is very scenic as well and um, I've also been uh, to the Amberley M Museum uh, which is just outside Amberley and it's a fabulous open air museum it's a bit like the Black Country and the Beamish Museum um, again lots to see um, and do there um, to do with transport and it, it's a, again a really interesting place um, to go and visit so I, I would definitely recommend it and um, again there's lots of other nice places uh, to go and visit like Chick Chester it's a lovely a place to go and visit um, they have a, a fabulous museum there and fantastic shopping there as well now I will have to move on now to North Wales the impressive part of Wales is where you will find some of the most attractive UK railway destinations Snowdonia National Park is the biggest draw and it, it, this is a walker's paradise offering amazing views from Mount Snowdon. You will be able to take a ride up Snowdon Mountain Way away, which uh, climbs to a staggering 185 feet metres above sea level and provides you with panoramic views, which um, it was listed the best in Britain. So again, I really recommend North Wales to, for you because it's got lots of attractions and lots of brilliant places to visit. So I would like to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It's the red and white subscribe button. Also click the notification bell. I upload at least five times a week. And I would like to say thank you for watching and my next travel video is Sunday at 8pm so thank you and bye for now thank you bye